I'm Chef Derek St. Romain. My career is built around food. I started out in some of the most famous restaurants in New Orleans before Katrina blew me up to North Carolina. Now I'm the head chef at the Duke Diet and Fitness Center and the regional coordinator for Backyard Bow Pro, an organization uniting farmers and hunters in the fight against hunger. Whether I'm running a professional kitchen or manning the grill at home, cooking is my passion. And today I'm going to cook with you. Let's get going. Today we're starting out in Ingalls, getting the ingredients to make my grilled stuffed pork tenderloin with balsamic glaze. Here's what we need. One pound kielbasa sausage, one whole pork tenderloin, two ounces of olive oil, fresh rosemary, thyme, and basil with cracked black peppercorns and sea salt rub, and a balsamic glaze that you can get at your local Ingalls. Remember, all this is on the website at ingalls-markets.com. So you can print a list and take it with you or pull it up on your phone when you're at the store. Now let's get cooking. Today we're here at the Claxton Farm in Weaverville, North Carolina, where we just held a Backyard Bow Pro event this weekend. We're getting ready to grill up a fantastic recipe. Today we're going to do a kielbasa sausage stuffed pork loin. We're going to take a link of kielbasa sausage, our pork tenderloin, we're going to slide the sausage on the inside of the pork tenderloin, wrap it up in some fresh herbs and olive oil, and then grill it on our outdoor grill. One of the greatest things about this recipe, first of all, it's really simple, it's not a lot of ingredients, but it's from New Orleans. It's one of the best dishes you can get downtown New Orleans on a mixed grill type platter, they call it. One of the things I like about it is when you cut it, the plate presentation with the sausage wrapped in pork tenderloin, it's just wonderful. You'll look like a chef yourself. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is take our boning knife and cut a hole straight through the middle of the pork tenderloin. Very simple. Find the middle of the pork tenderloin, insert your knife straight down. Then all you want to do is twist it, do it again. You're basically making a T right in the middle of the pork tenderloin. Next, we're going to stuff the kielbasa sausage inside the pork tenderloin. Now we're ready to mix our herbs and olive oil and start grilling. First we start with our olive oil in a base so that all the herbs don't stick to the bottom of the bowl. Fresh basil and rosemary. A little bit of thyme, salt and pepper. Mix it up real well, and then we're just going to coat the tenderloin. Now that we have everything mixed up well, we're going to add our pork loin. Make sure we catch all sides, roll the pork loin all the way around, get all the herbs, salt, pepper, and oil to stick. Then we're going to fire up the grill and start cooking. So now we're ready to start grilling. Only thing you have to look for is just to make sure all the oil is coated all the way around. We'll take the loin now and place it on the grill. And that's the sound you want to hear. Listen to that sizzle. If your grill starts to flame up, make sure you have a little bit of water on the side just to pour in there so you don't burn the bottom of the loin. What's happening is the Olive oil is dripping down into the coals and it's making it flame up just a bit. All right, so if you wanted to cook this at home and you didn't have a grill ready, you could cook it in the oven. You would just place your pork loin on a pan in the oven at 375 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. What you would definitely want to do, though, is to continuously turn that pork loin 
about every 15 minutes so it doesn't burn on one side. You want to use a meat thermometer and cook your pork to 155 degrees internal temperature. Man, this dish sure does bring back memories. First time I saw this was down in New Orleans in the late 80s while I was just coming out of chef school. And they took handmade sausages and stuffed inside of the pork loin. And just the presentation just impressed me so much. Now you can go to your local Ingles, get the same ingredients, and make high-end quality dishes right at your house. When you go to your local Ingles, be sure you ask your butcher for a whole pork loin. Pork tenderloins they might have out front are those smaller end tips. This is a whole cut of a pork loin and you can actually see some of the fat and silver skin is still on it. These are trimmed by the butcher to look exactly like this. So what I did at our local Ingles is I asked for a whole pork loin, which they gave to me, and then I cut it in half just for presentation purposes. That way it was easier for the sausage to fit neatly inside the loin. You can do the same thing, ask for any size cut that you want from one pound up to a whole loin. They'll be more than glad to cut it for you in the butcher department. So this particular cut here is right at about a pound and a half, which you can ask your butcher, could I get a pound and a half cut of a whole pork loin? And they'd be more than willing to help you out. All right. So what we wanna do is about every five to six minutes, flip and turn the pork loin. So we're gonna check this one now and we'll go ahead and turn that over. What you're looking for is a golden brown. You don't want any black and any burning, and you can see all the herbs are still staying green and fresh looking. That'll add more flavor, more taste, and a better texture for your end product. If you're cooking this at home, you wanna go ahead and close your grill top, maybe kick back and have a beer, wait another six or eight minutes, open your grill, check it, and flip it again, and repeat the process. You're going to cook it for at least 35 to 45 minutes. Just make sure you don't burn any one side. All right, so we've been sitting here about 30 minutes, turning back and forth. And I mean, look how beautiful that pork loin is. Sausage on the inside doesn't get much better than that. Let's move it to the cutting board. And I want to go ahead and cut a piece here and show you how beautiful the presentation is going to be. Okay. Turn it nice and slow. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's get this plated up. All right. Look at that. Look how beautiful that pork loin came out. The plate presentation. We have one last step, and this is the easiest step. I bought this glaze at our local Ingles, and you can do the same thing. There's a couple different ones on the shelf. Try yours, see which one you like, and go with that. Uh, this is a sweet, savory, balsamic glaze. You don't want to use a whole lot. You don't want to overpower the pork. Just going to sprinkle just a little bit on there to give it a little added touch and make it even more beautiful. Just like that, look how pretty that is. Well, we're out of time for today, but I wanna thank you so much for joining me here at the Angles Table. Remember, you can find this recipe, videos, photos, and more on the website at angles-markets.com. Until next time, see you online.